producer. He's one of these guys that does the whole thing. In Timo Higgs, who joins us on the show. Timo, how are you doing? Nice to yeah, see you. How are you? Good to be here. Uh, thank it's you, thank gr- great to have you on the show. I know you've come all the way from Russell Kamer, which we appreciate. Um, first of all, tell us a bit about yourself and how you first got into the music business. Well, you don't want to hear the whole story because it's been like a 20 years. 20 now, years, yeah. Even yeah. more that I, I'm actually doing anything about music. And I started very early when I was like 14, but I was joining the, the heavy metal band when I was still in Poland, yeah. trying to play drums with them. It took some time. But then later, of course, it's really hard to keep band together when you're growing, you know, the high school. The yeah, union yeah, all pulled so, in different directions. Yeah, and in this moment, you are looking still to, to, to do something. So I was like trying with some, you know, 8 bits, 16 bits computers to make some music for the theater group or for myself or maybe some smaller, you know, the projects with only two or three people involved. Mm-hmm. That's how it started. And then after this uh, theater thing, uh, again, after like maybe two, three years, I met my friend. He was actually looking for the DJ in his uh, place and I decided to, to help him. And so what kind of music were you playing then? What, what, what was the style of music that you were playing? <laughs> when I started, it was like the, the, the commercial pop, right? Yeah. Everything was like top 40, what you call it here, top 40, whatever was popular in the yeah, radio yeah. at the time. But let's not forget, it was like 18 years ago. So it was like all, everything, like the best of the hip hop and R&B in the okay. clubs. Plus the club music, definitely different sound than now, you know, more like pumping music in the clubs in Poland everything mixed together so if you play the whole night something yeah. like eight in the evening and sometimes you know closing clubs six in the morning so you've been playing so everything, ha- everything what brought you to dubai then was it a, a, a dj gig that brought you yeah, to town? yeah it happened that uh, I, I i was uh, i came here from warsaw because i was from that time i was living in warsaw and first we got some uh, gigs in india for like some from, and after when we came back to warsaw i got offered to come here and play the new year's eve gig actually in, uh, okay in the palm in anantara was opening that time and I came to play the first New Year's Eve in Anantara de Palm. Only for three, four days, but you know, when I came came to Poland, like maybe after two, three weeks, they called me that like, maybe you can come and get like three, four months, like a uh, oh, contract, contract in yeah. another place. So cool. I said, why not? I just want to give it a try. And you've been here ever since. And it was like <laughs> 10 years now. So. <laughs> and, and every the, year, like everyone is like, okay, this is my one year, one more year, or maybe it's like six months. That that's I'm typical going. Dubai. You come for <laughs> three months and, and uh, you know, here you are 10 years later. Now, um, you kind of have your own studio, you uh, produce music for different people. In fact, we've got a couple of samples um, of, of the kind of stuff that you uh, produce. Tell me about, um, is it Shindwe um, and Find My Ease? Um, this is something that you've been working on recently. Yeah, recently, because uh, uh, my friend just uh, located from, from Poland. Uh, his name is Dave Bo. We used to, we, we know each other like over 15 years and we used to work together uh, for, with music, uh, like, you know, the online remotely recently. But now we're here located, who's also living in Russell Kama, so we just uh, in the our work and all these projects all the things we started before now we are just closing these tracks and finally we, we see the results of our work Shindu is mm. one of these uh, projects is more like uh, influenced with Afro House of course like it's very popular now but I started this project like maybe two three years ago uh, I, even me, I didn't expect it. I mean, Af- Afro beat now is massive. Yeah, Afro isn't House it? and Afro beat just just took over. You know, you see the the, the the house tracks and pop tracks in the Afro House remixes now. So it yeah. only shows you how popular the Afro House itself is. That you are, that, that even the, the the tracks we know from before, that they are now people that are making them in the Afro House uh, vibe. So yeah, I'm happy about it, and uh, my tracks are also inspired with that. Of course, there's kind of some kind of what is very popular word. The fusion, the fusion. Yeah, right? let's have a listen to this. Find my ease. That. Tell me how you go about creating a piece of music like that with the technology that's around today. 
Well, for me, let's be honest, it's all about the collaboration. So I'm not exactly what you said before, that one person is doing everything. Yeah. So from the very beginning, I believe the collaboration is the most important part of all. Everyone is good at something and let's use the best you can. Yeah. And then bring something to the table. Let's mix our skills and, and, and bring something together. So this is how it works. Uh, that I can sit with a concept and with the beats, then I can ask my friend to make some melody maybe and play some piano or saxophone mm -hmm. on top of it. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, I will write, write lyrics and I will find a friend, uh, this girl, for example, here in this track, uh, she's uh, from Zimbabwe. We used to work before also some other tracks. So she will record the vocals and then, you know, you have three, four people working on the whole project and this is the, 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 the final See a bit more of it. Lovely saxophone player. Yeah, he's a Dave Boy. Dave Boy, you have to remember his name. He's now in Dubai. He's playing a lot of gigs uh, in the city. And yes, he's really good. Dave Bow, I love the name as well. So um, is that available? Can people get that? Yeah, or is that just a sample? No, of, no, no. This no. is the only sample. This is like in, it was never in the radio. I mean... I play some gigs uh, with these tracks. We are testing them. Yeah. And still, you know, it's like every day you wake up and you feel like maybe you can still do some adjustments. You can but they're almost like 99.9% yeah. .9 finished. <laughs> uh, we are about to sign them with the record label. So, of course, also we have to complete and uh, we have uh, cover arts ready and everything. So, yeah, they will be out very soon. Sounds great. <laughs> We're going to come back, we're going to talk uh, more with uh, Timmy about music and about AI, that word AI, artificial intelligence. Is it a good thing for music or uh, do we need to be scared of it? That's uh, When we come back, we're going to be having a chat all about that.